Dapple, welcome to, to Queen of the South. You Thank just you. joined a couple of days ago, so getting your debut today, how did you find that coming on there for the last 15 minutes or so? Yeah, I loved it to be fair. Like um, last night, I couldn't really sleep. I was excited to just start getting going because I've wanted to play first team football from um, a really young age. And I think there's been a lot of things going on, like being in around the Rangers first team learning off a lot of players there which has been invaluable for me like learning off like Jermaine Defoe and stuff like that so um, after my debut that was the next learning part for me and then I think now it's been this season time to kick on and start to get experience so I think just coming here to try and show people what I can do and getting games and minutes under my belt will do me a world of good. The manager said when you joined that he's tried to get you the last three transfer windows so he's delighted to have you on board so what about yourself making that move out on loan? Yeah, I think I knew this was the right place for me because of how much the gaffer had wanted me and trusted me. I think that was a big part of trying to come here because when someone trusts you that much, you just want to repay them on the pitch. So I think that was a big part of me coming. But as I said, the last couple transfer windows, um, for one reason or another, maybe I didn't come here, but now I'm here and I'm ready to prove what I can do. You've got two teammates here. Was that a factor in you coming as well? Um, not. I don't think too much. Like It's good to have them here. Like like to fall back on but um, I think when I'm as determined as I am to get to where I want to get to in the future and stuff like that then getting into any first team is just another thing on the side so I think the integration's been easy like the boys have been really good but the main priority was just getting on the pitch and doing my work and then everything else is an addition like the boys are good James, Reese, Breen like I know them so that's an, an addition but apart from that like just wanted to come in and just keep playing. He's made his debut today and was solid at the back. James has been a regular since he came here, so getting that chance to play first team football, as you say, is is key at your age. Yeah, I think you know when you need to start going out to go and start getting games. It's obviously different for people at different ages and stuff like that, but getting games at any level, a first team at a young age is um, a massive experience. Like I'm 19 years old now, and um, if I, if by the end of the season I've got from now to the end of the season. 10 to 15 games and it's going to do me the world of good. You talked there about learning from Jermaine Defoe and stuff. You're coming here to to probably a Queen's legend and Stephen Dobie. I know he's injured just now, but are you hoping to pick up more things from the likes of him as well? Connor Shields has been on fire lately. Yeah, I think I think for me it's just taking as much as I can off of anyone. Like I'm buzzing to come and work with Stephen Dobie. I've heard amazing things about him. Um, yeah, so... I think coming here, like learning off Stephen Doby, will be amazing for me. Like I've heard lots of things. Like I saw him scoring like forty goals in one season and stuff like that. But um, so I can't wait till he's back on the pitch. I can try and pick his brains out as well. But even like just everyone on the pitch, I can learn things from. Like just coming in and seeing people's like attitude to trying to win and stuff like that. Like Willie Gibson and stuff like that. So I think I've got a bit to learn off everyone, and it will just do me a lot of good in the future. So he came on for fifteen minutes and. Just after you came on, are we are we half chance? Half chance. I feel like I feel like um, so you know how sometimes you get chances when you miss and you can't sleep at night. I think that will be playing on my mind because uh, I thought that that's it. Like this is what um, I've been waiting for. I've been ready for. But um, nah, in the form that he's in, um, sometimes you want to take him on. So that's his decision. But um, just need to keep getting them chances for if it falls to me or if someone plays it to me. But um, I'm always ready for a chance. As you say, the corner has been on fire, so he, he was going on to take that shot. But. Yeah, I think every striker in that position um, will want to score a goal. Like, I've been there a few times where I've tried to score a goal, so just need to keep getting in the positions and um, obviously fighting for each other is the main thing because we need, we need to win. So if if he passes and we score, if he, pass, if he goes for it and we miss, we just need to wait for the next chance and go for that. You watch most of the game, or sort of, you know, a chunk of the game from from the stand but it was a game of two halves today really wasn't it the first half attacking and second half having to defend a bit more yeah to be fair I was really impressed with the boys in the first half like I watched the game and I was really impressed by it but um, obviously I think Morton came back in the game a bit in the second half and tried to turn it into a bit of a, a fight and um, tried to play the imposer style on us which he done decent so it was just about you can obviously play with the ball, which we showed in the first half, and like play nice football. But when it gets to the hard parts, you need to dig in as well and get the result, which is what matters in the end. And we've done that. You're hoping to get a bit more time against Inverness next week. Yeah, well, I just need to go in and train on Monday and um, just 
do what I can do, show what I can do to the, the gaffer and um, just wait for my chance and be ready to take it when it comes. How much do you know about the championship? Um, to be fair, I've been following it quite a bit since I think January, last January, because um, there's always been talk of going out on loan and stuff like that. So, especially when a lot of my teammates came in um, the summer, I've been keeping an eye out on their performances. So, I know it's a really close league. Like from um, there's obviously Hearts and Dunfermline, at, like at the top end right now, but it's really close. Like a couple wins could push you up the table. So, I think coming in right now f for what I want to do, I, I want to get goals and assists to help the team and hopefully get to the playoffs or see what we can do. So, yeah. And if you can get on next week, hopefully you get a goal and, and kick Queens on up that table as they are just now. Yeah, 100%. I think, obviously, numbers is the main thing, getting goals and assists, but also exciting um, the fans who are watching, the gaffer, my teammates, like, beating my man, like, just, just excited to play.